Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing like an Elsa Frozen inspired makeup look. I want to keep this one quite simple today just because I know with my previous like Disney character series makeup looks I've done a fair few that are quite out there and more intricate so I thought today I'd make it a little bit more simple and uh, kind of more wearable for most of you guys. So yeah, let's get to it. So I already primed my eyelids and stuff with concealer. You guys can go ahead and do that. You can also use a like white cream eye base as well if you want the colours to really stand out. Which I'm thinking now I probably should have done, which I forget every time. But, but either way, they'll both work just as, just as good. <laughs> so initially for my crease I'm going to take Made For Each Other in Silk Cream. And I'm going to place those two in my crease as a transition shade. Just very lightly. I don't want it to stand out too much because it is quite like a... This is going to be like a soft, uh, soft glam look. So I don't want the shades to be too intense. So just something light like that through the crease. Don't mind the hair today, guys. I just wasn't bothered to actually put it up in a neat way. It's just in a messy bun. <laughs> a really messy bun today, I'm sorry. Next, I'm going to take this shade Wisteria and on the same fluffy 221 soft crease, I'm going to place it on my outer corner crease area just as like another transition shade for the purple we're going to place on the outer corner area and just keeping it focused in this area here so for the outer corner i'm going to place this deep brown and kind of plummy burgundy shade on with a petite crease brush just on the outer v and i'm just taking a bit of wisteria again and just kind of softening the purple out a little bit. Just keeping it here. Like that out of the area. Because we're going to bring blues and things across the lid. So I want to keep this quite like focused on the outer point of the eye. And then again taking a bit of wisteria. Like I said I wanted to keep this look quite simple for you guys. Because I know the last few have been really intense. Plus I have like a really intense look for like Anna. A Anna? Anna? Um... So I want to kind of do that more intense. So I thought I'd keep Elsa's look quite soft and simple. Okay, I'm going to take this beautiful, beautiful, like, shimmery shade from my Folklore Travel Palette called Passion Fruit and just dot that on my outer V with my finger. And it's just so pretty when it catches the light. It's so nice. I'm just kind of doing a wash of that over the purple. It doesn't have to be too pigmented or crazy. So for the rest of the lid, I'm going to do like a pastely bluey shade. So from my Chi Chi Pride palette, I'm going to take this light blue shade. And I mixed it with a little bit of like a white as well to make it a little bit lighter. Just a regular like matte white eyeshadow. And then taking a bit of that light purple from Makeup Geek, Wisteria, and I'm just blending those blue and purple together. I want majority of the lid to be blue and then just like a little bit of purple like on the outer point of the eye because like mainly like her dress and her look is like icy and blue but I do really really like that transition. Ooh, that's good. So I want most of that like whitey blue to be on the inner part and then I just use that light pastely blue as I get toward the center of the eye so it transitions kind of more smoother so it's like a light blue into the normally blue. <laughs> into the purple and as you can see I'm kind of creating a soft cut crease at the moment and then for my inner corner and brow bone I'm going to take WA from my travel folklore palette oh my gosh this is like amazing this shade is perfect for this look it's like an icy white which is what I want so I'm just quickly going to go in with my unshakable liquid liner from Mia Adora and just apply like a normal wing just along the lash line. I don't want anything too thick or extravagant. Just something simple just to tie this look together. So it's just something simple like this. Nothing too extravagant because like, like the main focus is the eyeshadow and everything. And to add like a bit of that icy feel I want to add like a little glitter cut crease per se. Hence why I want to do the wing liner because it's kind of going to follow along up above it. So initially I'm going to grab my glitter liner in the shade Topaz Twinkle and I'm going to just line like the line above and then what I want to do afterwards is like add another glitter in with the with 
the glitter liner if that makes sense so initially I'm just like mapping out the glitter cut crease so I'm going in with opal and pavlova from my travel palette on a little precise shader brush and I'm just plopping those on top and then I'm going through and adding some actual glitter glitter over the liner just because I want something a little bit more intense than just the eyeshadow kind of glitters so I went in with this beautiful like holographic glitter from Etsy and all I did was just apply some lash glue over the glitter liner that we've already done and just pop some of that glitter over top just pretty sparsely not too intense because we have already got the glitter underneath like the eyeshadow glitter so I've just gone ahead and applied some mascara and lashes the lashes I went in today with are the Iconics from House of Lashes I like them because they're nice and spiky and kind of like more they remind me more of like an icy feel because they are so jaggedy and sharp um, rather than quite wispy and soft. So next I'm going to go in with my nude eye curl from Models Prefer and just line my waterline with that. Now you can go in with a white if you'd prefer. I just prefer a nude. It's a lot softer and more wearable. But I guess with this ice queeny like frozen makeup look, it is um, it would be appropriate to wear a white in there as well if you prefer. If you're going for more of like an intense look. So for my bottom lash line, I'm going to keep it pretty simple and kind of just repeat what we did on the top along the bottom per se. So I'm going to grab some of those like two purples that we used on the outer corner on the top lid area. And I'm just wiggling that closely against my outer corner bottom lash line area and just like tapering whatever's left on the brush towards the inner corner. Making sure to connect it to that outer corner. Next, dipping into that kind of soft sky blue and mixing it in with some of this white shade from Makeup Geek called White Lies. And just buffing out the edges of that purple, making the outer corner of the eye the darkest part, and then it just tapers into that kind of white blue. And then finally, I'm going to finish off with some electric blue mascara. This is from Rimmel. Just because I think it'd be fun to have a blue mascara as opposed to just a normal black mascara. Kind of ties in better with the bottom lash line being blue and all. So this, guys, concludes today's Elsa, like, Frozen 2 inspired makeup look. I kept it pretty simple for you guys today. Like I said, I don't want anything too complicated because my other tutorials have been quite intense so I thought I'd do a little bit like something a little bit more softer and glam but if you do want an intense like Elsa look like something really like fierce and dramatic and really Disney character-y please let me know I can do another look on Elsa but like more Ice Queeny y please let me know anyway <laughs> I have got an idea for like Anna it's gonna be like an intense dramatic look but yeah if you want something intense and dramatic for Elsa as well please let me know Otherwise, have an amazing day. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye.